Right, in this video we're going to find a missing angle on a isosceles triangle given its lengths. We know the triangles are isosceles because of this line and this line. So it says find the value of theta correct to three significant figures. So the triangle is isosceles. So this is an isosceles triangle. Again, what you do is you split it into two identical right angled triangles. So and this point here will be the midpoint on this line. So this will be half of 7.4, which is 3.7. And this angle here will be uh, the angle theta divided by 2, half of whatever theta is. So labelling up the side, says this is the opposite side and this is the hypotenuse. And this would be the adjacent. So we've got the opposite hypotenuse and we want to find the angle so we're going to use uh, so sine opposite over hypotenuse writing down the ratio sine of the angle which is theta over 2 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so sine theta 2 will be 3.7 divided by 12.6 and in order to find the angle, theta over 2, we need to do sine to the minus 1 of 3.7 over 12.6. Make sure you use the fraction button on your calculator. So that will give you 17.07 degrees. So that's only half of what the angle that we want. It's half of it. So in order to find theta, we need to do 2 times 17.07, which gives me 34.15, which gives me... 34.2 degrees to three significant figures. Okay, so this has been a video to shine, find, help you find a missing angle on an isosceles triangle. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.